The problem we set last time was about reaction times. How can you use your school computer to work out the results of a simple reaction time experiment? Let's see what progress the children at Robinson's End Middle School have made. Can you tell me what do you think of when I say reaction? How quick you can do things. Sure. How fast your senses react to uh, noise. Simon. The reflex is when your doctor hits your knee with a little hammer, you kick your leg. Is that reaction? The reaction time strip you need for the experiment is included in the teacher's notes. Make copies for everyone in the class. First, we cut out a bit of paper with these numbers on. Then we put some double-sided sticky tape on the back of a ruler. Peeled the backing off the stick, sticky tape and put the sheet of paper on the ruler. Shall I do it to you first? Yeah, go on then. It's important to do the experiment carefully, otherwise the results will be useless. Hold your finger and thumb either side of the ruler, just in line with the zero on the scale. When the ruler drops, catch it as fast as you can. Point one eight. Do the experiment lots of times in order to work out an average. You don't have to do the arithmetic yourself. The computer will do it for you. What happens if you drop the ruler? What result would you put down? When you've typed in your results, the programme calculates your average reaction time straight away. What's the next one? That's where I miss. Just put point naught naught. Okay. These children found that if they put zero whenever they dropped the ruler, then their average reaction time improved. Do you think this is right? In the end, they decided to repeat the experiment whenever they dropped the ruler. We better replace them notes. Yeah, what's the number going to be then? Point two one. The spreadsheet allows you to change any of the entries for new results and immediately calculates a new average. They also set up the spreadsheet to calculate a class average for each attempt and an overall average for the whole experiment. In this case, 0.15 seconds. <laughs> Sometimes the results vary a lot. Why do you think that happens? When the roller's coming down, you quickly just snip your fingers and this, you, you just guess. As Kerry did it, she'd lift her hand and then I could tell that she was going to drop it. How would you stop people cheating? This is one way. Now you can't tell when the ruler's going to be dropped. One, Do you think reaction times will vary with age? Try the experiment on younger children and on grandparents. Point one seven. When everyone's results were in the computer, the spreadsheet was used to produce different sorts of graphs. This one shows one person's reaction times. First they were slow, then quicker, then slow again, and so on. What might cause this? Point one eight. Finally, the computer produced the most interesting result of all. Who do you think had the fastest reactions, boys or girls? Well, it was the girls. Did you find the same in your class? <laughs>